Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Foundation examination and we are still at chapter 2. In this tutorial, we are exploring more about dynamic test techniques which can help you to conduct the levels of testing and have a better confidence being covered as a part of it. So this tutorial will be moving to the next topic of this chapter that's experience based techniques. So far we have covered specification based and structure based techniques. For that you can always visit the previous tutorial of this series. And finally we come to 4.5 which is experience based techniques and we will be understanding more about that. So let's get into the introduction and understanding of experience based techniques. Uh, basically uh, experience based techniques are altogether a different way of applying and implementing such techniques within the process. It basically requires the users of uh, uh, you know, tester skills, intuition and experience like past experience of the similar type of uh, applications or maybe you know type of technologies what they have been using. So when it comes to basically understanding of uh, experience based techniques it cannot be performed by a fresher or maybe a newcomer who is into testing because it would basically the source of information or source of testing is all about what is your past experience and also like understanding of typical the type of defects which is required as a part of it when you talk about experience based techniques obviously uh, you know it basically helps you to identify some additional way of testing or additional test cases compared to the formal techniques now when we use the word formal formal techniques here it's it's, it's all about uh, the equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, uh, decision table, state transition, or use case testing, maybe statement coverage, decision coverage. So all these black box and white box techniques are called as formal techniques. So once you are done with these formal techniques and you think that these test cases, we did minimize the test cases, but then maybe there would be something more which we are not covering. Not covering, excuse me. So what we can do is we can go ahead with applying experience based techniques and these techniques will very well help you to you know derive some more test cases for some typical areas and you can go ahead with the testing by preparing the test cases on that obviously uh, the experience based techniques are not the primary approach it is always applied once you are done with your formal techniques and uh, based on the execution results irrespective of what result you get like you know maybe all test cases have passed all test cases have failed or maybe some passed some failed so irrespective of all these details all the results you just consult if you are a newcomer you consult a senior manager or maybe a test analyst and ask him that what could be the more difficult test cases which can be executed and based on that you prepare the test cases and move ahead but there are also certain possibilities where experience based techniques can be the primary approach so or maybe i cannot go with, with formal techniques at all so we have three cases here as you can see i've got specifications where it is poorly defined where the requirements are not clearly defined it is given in very brief or maybe there are no detailed documentation because for making formal techniques utilizing formal techniques to derive your test cases you need clear and detailed requirement specification Whereas the other case is time pressure when you run out of time and you want to execute more number of test cases then obviously instead of writing the you know full fledged test cases documentation reviewing them and then executing and logging the result becomes hectic. So obviously you do not have enough time then you when you deal with time pressure cases you obviously move with uh, the uh, experience based techniques compared to formal techniques. And there's also a possibility when testing team is not formally trained on testing fundamentals. For example, your testing team may be domain expert, but they are not trained well with the uh, testing fundamentals or testing technologies or testing techniques. Then obviously it will be difficult for them to uh, go ahead with uh, implementing formal techniques and only option would they are left with is the experience based techniques so let's look at one of them the very first technique we will be understanding two techniques here error guessing at k2 and exploratory at k2 so in this tutorial we are talking about error guessing let's understand what exactly it is so obviously the source of information or source of preparing the test cases remain the same that is it requires the knowledge of defects and experience of the application 
obviously like experience in the sense the past experience of similar applications which help them to decide more effective and number of test cases so usually what happens uh, you have derived maybe certain test cases or you have not at all written any test cases because of poor specification or time pressure so here we utilize a uh, understanding and past experience about the typical defects what you see in these kind of system what you're testing right now or maybe the past experience where you would have already experienced such kind of test cases which help you re to reveal uh, the certain failures and you were able to you know find it so based on such intuitions such defect data which can help you to uh, prepare the tests and then you can run the test and based on that you can see if the test cases passes that's absolutely fine if it is failed good enough you could find the defects what you were looking for exactly but as the approach involves having the knowledge of defects and based on that you try to prepare your test cases and then attack these defects you call the systematic approach as fault attack the general testing is different from fault attack General testing, we just prepare requirements or the test cases based on the requirements and we run them without any intention of, you know, like, you know, we are looking for what kind of defects. So if our test cases fail, we do say that there is a defect, but we are not aware of what defect we are basically looking for. But yeah, obviously the objective of testing is to find defects, but you do not specify what specific defect are you looking at. But when you talk about error guessing, the approach involves having the knowledge about the defect. And based on those defect understanding, you prepare test cases to attack these defects and see that if these defects are occurring there or existing in the system. So that's the reason you don't call it as a general approach. You do have some kind of deviation involved here. And that deviation is called as fault attack. So that's one of the important terms from this section. And you can mostly expect a question right from this term itself also you know obviously uh, these defects and failures uh, list can be built based on the experience typical defects and failure data from the past and obviously that can help you to you know prepare more effective and efficient test cases within the time period what you have depending on like no requirements clearly defined time pressure and all this approach would be really helpful for you to uh, you know go ahead and using this obviously you do update your logs like execution log and you monitor you manage the test cases you you know manage the results and you do submit it to your manager again based on which he can also provide you some other information and you can continue testing like that with approach of fault attack so that's all from this technique and what you need to take care of is like you know have an understanding of the error guessing that what's the approach what's the source of information for you to prepare the test cases we do document the test cases here there's uh, the systematic approach of conducting this is called as fault attack and obviously the results are being logged here in error guessing you will see a difference in the next tutorial when we come to exploratory testing of the same category so till then stay tuned for more inputs more updates on the testing and ISTQB foundation level certification so Thanks for watching. Take care. This is all for now. We have more videos coming up on the upcoming tutorials and also on the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for more videos. Do hit the bell icon for getting notified about the latest videos. And in case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe as early as possible. Because we'll be having more videos about technologies and testing coming up back after this right after this so uh, stay tuned and uh, till then enjoy learning happy learning take care